Hi, welcome back to the channel. Well, today let's build the Garage 56 Camaro. So for those of you who aren't aware, Garage 56 uh, specialise in NASCARs, but they thought, why don't we enter an endurance race such as Le Mans? And so they took all their expertise in this sort of car took a Garage 56 type NASCAR but lightened it because it's not going to crash so many times, made numerous other technical changes. I'll link to an article below with a lot more detail. And they put in drivers such as Mike Rockefeller, who is an endurance expert, Jimmy Johnson who I'm sure all our American uh, listeners have heard of, even I have because he races at Goodwood, and one Jensen Button and entered this car in Le Mans. So let's see if we can take our road car, admittedly, Figaro ZX, and actually make the endurance car. On this car, all the performance parts, the armor, the bulletproof tires are to the maximum, but of course, you can choose what you want to do with those. So we'll just move straight on down to the bumpers. A lot of them work. The ones with the support brackets don't. And I favor most this trim thin splitter to give me some paint around the edge, admittedly more than the real car, about the right shape to give me a canard here. I'd like to fill this with lights, but you can't. One or two put a little strip light, but it's not enough. On the rear bumpers, you have a lot of flexibility because to be honest, none of them are right. It's a sort of bespoke piece here, flat across the bottom, and then a very thin diffuser, no exhausts. So if you just look at this one, the shape of this at least goes sort of flat across the bottom. It's about the nearest I could go but obviously in carbon racer, carbon diffuser. Onto the exhaust, it should be in a big black block on the side and these are all rear exhausts. I have bronze performance double exhausts and the only reason is they're one of the more subtle ones considering they're in the wrong place. For the grill, I'm gonna to have to show you this one in chrome so you can see what I've done. This shape here is about as near as I can to the shape of the grill on the car that we're doing. As far as I can see, it's all in black. So black honeycomb grill, which only really shows up outside. Hood. The livery is obviously not right. It's as close as we could get. And on the livery, this bit is very dark on the raised part and there are some vents here. So this vented hood keeps some vents, albeit smaller and in the wrong place. And it does give the very dark bit for the bulging hood scoop. That is the closest that I could find there is one with better vents like this and there is even a symbol here but I, I just don't think it looks as close so but that would might be my second option would be race hood uh, lights up to you car meat or stock are fine now for the liveries obviously they didn't have the livery in here for the garage 56 car so if you go down stripes aren't much good that is a good sort of nascar type livery but not really for what we want that's silly obviously this is the one i've picked now there's no race numbers on this um, but the race numbers are quite subtle on the 56 car colors are just wrong on that colors are very wrong on that i did consider this obviously as well because and we do get numbers on and 28 is exactly half of 56 so that one i find that one quite tempting i'll be honest with you I just felt it was slightly less accurate, but Arrow Extreme Racer or Bulco Racing, I would say you choose. That's all the liveries there are. Louvers. At the back, the car has a sort of set of striped and across louvers, or at least they are window details where the, perhaps the perspective is broken to the various bits. I'm not entirely sure. But Carbon Tuna Louvers gets the closest to that one. Carbon Mirrors, they're the nearest in shape and colour. I put my yellow on black plate to uh, make it more subtle. The respray is very simple. It's simply a metallic blue. Now I left the uh, standard pearl on there, which is surf blue, but you could play with the pearl if you wanted or even reduce it slightly because it can affect the carbon roof at the odd angle. So you choose. Trim is graphite as standard. I just left it like that because we can't have a race interior. Went with the carbon roof, obviously we want the black roof on there, works pretty well. And with the skirt, I spent a while on the photos, but this little sticking out bit here is reflected exactly on the skirt of the real car. 
The rest of it, of course, should be bolder and have an exhaust in, but none of them work. So that was carbon street skirts. For the spoiler, I want a great big ducktail. They do such lovely ducktails in this game, but not on this car. So what are you going to do? You could just take one of the lower spoilers like this, but I mean, the ducktail is big on the on, on the real car, and I think that's too subtle. So you go on through. That's somehow a bit anemic, don't you think? Uh, and then on to this. Well, that looks, I think, rather good. That's the one I picked. It feels like it's about the size of that ducktail. It's got some writing on it as well, which always looks good on a race car. And then I wouldn't blame you too much for taking that one either, but I think we're getting further and further away from our ducktail if we do. And then we've got a couple of just massive ones and back to the beginning. So... Um, carbon commando spoiler i went for in the end sun strips should be black but it has writing on and i decided in the end the primary one because it puts the writing on was the better of the options but you could also go black suspension let's get it down low like a race car competition suspension the wheels now there are more than one choice but this style here gets quite close to one of the photograph styles, which is the organic type two. And they're in the street category. And the great thing about being in the street category is you can go into your tires and tire design. And you've got, of course, white, yellow, uh, some red, and even green. You've got loads of different tire designs in there to match your race cars up. And atomic yellow does look very close to what we're doing. Last option. <laughs> Is the window smoke now technically race cars don't have it i looked at loads of photos and it often looks a bit dark in there and i can't work out if it's reflections or if they've actually tinted their race car so you could go none which i think is the more accurate but if you're thinking well i want to hide the fact that this does not have a race car interior well maybe you would just want to pop on a light smoke I i'll leave mine at none and that completes the build of the car so let's take it out for a quick drive I do enjoy driving this car. I sometimes think it's slightly more tied down than I would like. And the noise is good. I mean, you've just heard it, but I think it's a little more cultured than I want. I'd like a bit more raw V8. But it's a good looking car. It does make a closer copy of some of the road cars than the race car, of course. But I think this is great to be able to put in a NASCAR collection. And we only have about six or seven cars really that will go in that sort of collection without duplication so I would commend this sort of build to you I'm now in the edit rather than the live recording of the build hey and I do think that I would go for one of those other liveries like I mentioned there's sort of four potential liveries so pick the one that you think is the closest on reflection I don't think it's this one let me know below do you think it's worth making a race car from this more obviously road car based car or not I'd love to know what you're doing with your version of the Vigero ZX. Hit that thumbs button if you enjoyed the build. That would uh, tell everybody else that you like the build. And also looking forward, do sub if you like real cars and GTA. I, I know we've had a few gaps, uh, partly due to me playing too much once human and also there have been some personal issues that have taken up some time, meaning I'd rather just game than make videos. But of course there will always be more videos coming, more garage tours, etc. So, uh, do sub or stay subbed and that's it for now take care and thank you so much for watching